We're going to worship the Lord this morning. Praise God. If we could just stand at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning, Father. We give you all the glory, all the honey, and all the praise. We know that there is no God like you this morning. We exalt you alone. We welcome your presence, God. We shabak you. We glorify your name. The King of all kings, the Lord of lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We extol you in the house today, God. We know that there is none like you today. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are here, God, and you're going to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think today. And so, God, we bless you and we appreciate you. Hallelujah. We honor your presence, God, and we exalt your name today. Hallelujah. If we could just lift our hands in his presence this morning to our God and our King, our provider and our preserver today we bless his holy name glory to the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the lamb hallelujah praise the lamb oh my old again hallelujah praise the lamb say hallelujah praise the lamb hallelujah praise the
for the Lord on my side, where would I be this morning? Had it not been for the Lord on my side, then the enemy would have had his way. Come on, exalt the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so we place you and I this morning. We place you at the highest place this morning. Praise and glory belong to you. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, we bless your name. Hallelujah, we glorify your name. We honor you alone, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, just welcome the presence of an awesome God. He's worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy, God, of our praise this morning. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. We exalt you, God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord who was and is and is to come. Praise and glory. Hallelujah to your name this morning. Come on, give him the fruit of your lips. Come on, he only want to hear the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Come on, remember when he brought you out. When you said, God, if you bring me through this one, I'm going to worship you. I'm going to worship you. God, if you prove yourself one more time, I'm going to worship you. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised this morning. Come on, give him the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we worship you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Come on, don't let me stop you from worshiping. Come on, you only want to hear the fruit of your lips this morning. Hallelujah, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Yeah. 
God we serve this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus this morning. We bless the holy name this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. We give him praise. We give him all the honor this morning. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We just want to give him thanks and praise and all the honor this morning. Because we are all here in our sound mind this morning. And we give him praise and honor this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be to the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To take God. We give you all the praise. Oh God, we give you all the honor and the glory this morning. We thank you, God, that we can come another day in your presence. Just to lift up your name and give you all the glory and the honor, dear God, that you deserve, God. It is nothing good that we have done that we are here. But because of your mercy and grace, we are here today to stand up and to lift up your holy name. And we say thank you. Thank you. And we bless your name this morning. In Jesus name hallelujah praise God hallelujah this morning I just want to greet the Holy Spirit who is evidence in this place this morning hallelujah praise God I want to greet our pastor Dr. Delroy Chambers Minister uh, Evan Chambers Minister Dawkins Minister Edwards and Mr. Douglas all deacons and deaconesses all bridges of rescue the perishing and those watching us by means of whatever streams we want to just welcome you this morning and i greet you all in the precious name of jesus hallelujah <laughs> praise god bless god this morning let me tell you something we have a reason to lift up the name of jesus this morning hallelujah we have more than reason to give god praise this morning even sometime this week one of our sisters um, came on that talk from the enemy, but we want to give thanks this morning. Yeah, Just, um, you can have all of our seat, please, praise God. It was like Wednesday night, my wife was saying to me, um, she had this down spirit, she was saying the same thing keep happening to me. Like you keep having this depressed uh, um, feeling, woman said, listen, baby, this is the time we need to pray more. We just need to lift up the name of Jesus more and we'll pray. And the following morning, our sister here, Sister Teresa, called us and told us that she was in an accident on the highway. And she's here with us this morning. That means that the devil is a liar and the devil lose again this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. We just want to give it. We have 
every reason to give God the praise and the honor. And that's why we can say, Sister Teresa, we can tell it, that the devil is born in that. You, he's a liar and him lose again. Praise God. I say, we shall live. Praise God. And not die. And declare the name of the Lord this morning. Praise God. I don't want to sing that song. Let's start with me. I will sing that song. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. I shall not die, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. and declare the works of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Praise God. Not in this house, sister. Not in this house. Amen. Praise God. We, um, we, had a, we all have a song sheet. We just wanted to try to sing this song. Praise God. Let us stand and sing this song with me on the song sheet that was handed out to you by the usher. Praise God. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I must have the Savior with me for I dare not walk alone.
the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. be to thee. Glory to God. Glory to Thank the name of Jesus. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord God. Glory, glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, dear Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Your name is worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. We bless your name, dear God. Hallelujah. 
praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless God. At this time, at this time, we invite Deacon Campbell to read the script with the scripture reading with us this morning. Hallelujah. And this morning, the scripture will be taken from Judges 8. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Read this morning from a sacred book, Judges chapter 8. Judges chapter 8. Stand to the reading of God's holy word. We'll read the alternate verses. You all find it? And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not. Judges, judges I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus, that thou callest us not? When thou wentest to fight with the Midianites, and they did chide with him sharply. God had delivered into your hands the princes of Midian, Oreb, and Zeb, and what was I able to do in comparison of you? Then their anger was abated towards him when he had said that. And he said unto the men of Succor, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me, for they be faint, and I am pursuing after Zeba and Zebulun, king of Midian. And Gideon said, Therefore, when the Lord had delivered Zeba and Zalmanna into thine hand, then I will tear your flesh with the thorns of the wilderness and with briars. And he went up thence to Penuel and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Sukkot had answered him. And he spake also unto the men of Punel, saying, When I come again in peace, I will break down this tower. Now Zeba and Zalmunna were in Karkar, and their hosts with them, about 15,000 men, all that were left of all the hosts of the children of the east, for there fell 120,000 men that drew sword. And Gideon went up by the way of them that dwell in tents on the east of Nobah and Jogbeh and smote the house, smote the house 
for the host was secure. And when Zeba and Zalmunna fled, he pursued after them and took the two kings of Midian, Zeba and Zalmunna, and discomfited all the host. And Gideon, the son of Josh, returned from the battle before the sun was up. And caught a young man of the men of Sukkot, and inquired of him, and he described unto him the princes of Sukkot, and the elders thereof, even threescore and seventy men. And he came unto the men of Sukkot, and said, Behold, Zeba and Zalmana, with whom ye did upbribe me, saying, Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmana now in thine hand, that we should give bread unto thy men, that they were weary? And he took the elders of the city, and thorns of the wilderness, and birds. With them he taught the men of Sukkot. And he beat down the tower of Punel and slew the men of the city. Then said he unto Ziba and Zalmunna, What manner of men were they whom he slew at Tabor? And they answered, As thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. And he said, They were my brethren, even the sons of my mother. As the Lord liveth, if ye had saved them alive, I would not slay you. And he said unto Jetta his firstborn, Up, oh, and slay them. But the young drew not his sword, for he feared, because he was yet a youth. Then Ziba and Zemunah said, Rise thou, and fell upon us. For as the man is, so is the strength. And Gideon arose and slew Zeba and Zelmona and took away the ornaments that were on their camel's neck. Then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Rule thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, for thou hast delivered us from the hand of Midian. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you, the Lord shall rule over you. And Gideon said unto them, I will desire a request of you, that he would give me every man the earrings of his spray, for they had golden earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a garment, and did cast therein every man the earring of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold, beside ornaments and colors, and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian, and beside the chains that were about the camel's neck. And Gideon made an effort thereof, and put it in his city, even in Ophir. And all Israel went thither, a warring after it, which thing became a snare unto Gideon and to his house. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Israel, so that they lifted up their heads no more, and the country was in quietness forty years in the days of Gideon. And Jerubabel, Jerubal, the son of Josh, went and dwelt in his own house. And Gideon had three score and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. And his concubine that was in Shechem, she also bear, bore him a son whose name called Abimelech. And Gideon, the son of Josh, died in a good old age and was buried in the sepulchre of Joash's father, in Ophrah of the Abizarites. And it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again and went a whoring after Balaam and made Baal Berisha their God. And the children of Israel remembered not the Lord their God, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Neither, let's read 35 to, together. 
neither showed their kindness to the house of Jerubbabel, Jerubbabel, namely Gideon, according to all the goodness which he had showed unto Israel. Praise God. Here in the portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's now never shall it be, worthy to our end. Amen. In Jesus' name. Brethren, I went to Jamaica the other day, and when the plane was landing, everybody started to clap. But I don't clap. I shout, Lion! What a wonder you are! Ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. King of King, Lord of Lord, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Jesus is your name. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. Brethren, is a reason why I shout, Lion. Yes. Praise God. Wonderful. I don't shout it in vain. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Keep shouting, my brother. Praise yes. God. That's your password. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. Just, that's what immigration I like to shout in. Though. Praise God. <laughs> Bless shout God. In At this time, we'll invite um, Deaconess uh, Brother Morgan to come and do the, um, the welcome for us. Make him welcome. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Let's praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord again. Uh, good to see everyone in church this morning. You know, today is Man Sunday. Men in charge again, all right? In Jesus' name. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Uh, I'm here to do the welcome day. The first time or second time visitor in the house, can you please stand? Let us know who invite you. And the first time, second time. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Sister Chambers invite me here. And I came this morning to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah? Simon, my name is Simon. All right, give it up for Brother Simon. Anyone else? I'll give it up for Minister. I said, give it up for Minister. I, I, I think Minister do that on Labor Day by herself. Right, Minister? Minister. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a, you do it labor day? Yeah. yeah, thank you. All right, on behalf of our pastor, the Reverend Dr. David Chambers, Minister Ivan Chambers, Minister Dawkins, Missionary Douglas, all wonderful saints at Rescue Perching, and give Brother Simon a warm welcome in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Said higher, higher. Higher, 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 higher. Live Jesus higher. Oh, praise God. Higher, 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 higher. Live Jesus higher. Oh, higher, higher. Higher, 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 higher. Live Jesus higher. I think minister teach you how to do this thing though, you know. Minister they tell us we cannot put we can lift Jesus the same height and put say that. So we will do it like what minister teach us how to do it, right? That's it, that's it. So uh, we'll start again and say. So you now I'll stand and sing with you. Come on, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Higher, 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 higher. higher, higher. Oh, 
Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just, just before I call the, um, the announcer, I just want to know if somebody here would have liked to give a burning testimony, a Amen. quick one. Anything that the feet of the Lord have done for somebody this morning or throughout the week. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody. I will soon have a testimony this morning. We invite. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Amen. Shall we lift up the name of Jesus? Amen. Shall we magnify our God? Amen. Shall we lift up the most high? Hallelujah. The greatest of all great. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise My testimony today is like his um, victory over the plans of the enemy when your family is attacked. My son is a plumber by trade. And last week, you know, the week before, he finished a job and he got a check from the person that, you know, when he finished the job, Amen. put the money in the bank and it was supposed to clear so that he could pay his workers. When he went to the bank, they shut down his account. And, um, they were doing an investigation and the person gave him the check. And it turned out that he, he was supposed to be an accomplice to this person who um, has been defrauding the bank. And um, it went on during, you know, during the most, when he called me Monday and he, he said that was what happened. So by Thursday, you know, it, they said Friday, it, 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 everything would clear up. Friday, nothing. I, I call him around 8 o'clock in the morning, nothing. And a righteous hunger just rise up in me. I say, no. I say, no. You're not taking him back where he's coming from. I said, the blood, I say, your spirit of snatcher. I send, I send fire. I send every angel that can war to TD Bank to go there now and lose that money because the workers are calling him and some of them you know as black people when friday come they want the money yeah. and i mean he was so out of his mind and i get down when i finish i said god i sorry i come to you this way but it's war yes. about two hours after mommy i have counting out money uh, um, it's Saturday morning, $20,000. He was able to go to the bank and draw. Let me tell you something, believers. It's war time. Your families are under attack. It's war time. And we must know how to war. We must know to pull down things. We must know to take authority against the plans of the enemy over our family and over this ministry. In case you don't know, it's war time. God bless you in Jesus' name. 
Praise God. That just reminds me of what the preacher said a couple weeks ago. He said, um, he said um, some about Christians, um, lukewarm Christian cannot fight the, 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 um, the busy enemy, as you said, right? Because the devil is not lazy. He's at war and he's doing his work. So we got to do our part. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sister Teresa is going to give us a test. Good morning, church. If I didn't come here, I would feel a little ungrateful because I hold it to God just to him this morning that he has been grateful to me. He has given me grace. He has given me mercy towards me. Um, just Thursday, um, I was driving, you know, my regular routine on the highway going to work. I was like five minutes away from work. And... Uh, um, I just, you know, in the lane driving and stuff, and I just saw this black car came close to me, like, like a little bit close, but I was watching and I was blowing. I was like, you're coming over, but I held my lane. I held my lane because I'm on the right, because she was on the, the shoulder merging out, but she didn't put on an indicator. She didn't give me no sign that she want to come over. I assume that she want to come over, but I'm just feeling like you have to wait or let me give you the, the okay, but I kept my lane. And she kept coming over on me. And I realized she was like really onto me now. And then I swirl the car and swing, I swing the car. I lost control of the vehicle. End up on the other side. And there was a divider on the opposite side of the road that with the vehicle going the opposite side. And Bridget, I don't know how I stopped the car right at the divider, the wall. My, my front end was right at the inch of the wall. Just no, when the officers came, they couldn't even pass through because I was this close. I was able to stop, put the car in park, and put on my four-way. And then as I started, you know, I started feeling dizzy, I started screaming, and then I was just there. I was just like thanking God. I was calling. I was calling Uncle Lynn because I just feel like I wanted somebody to be there. I started calling Uncle Lynn. I said, Matthew, I, I happened to get him knowing his job is not easy to get through. And I happened to get him and I was talking to him and, you know, he had to go back to his job. And I was just calling and calling and then nobody was there. And I was just there screaming, screaming, screaming. I was so terrified because this never happened to me. Like I'm involved in like a vehicle. So with the vehicle, so with me merging, swinging, I hit another vehicle and the vehicle came around and hit the girl in her side and, and fastener, like she was like all the way up in the, in the wall. And Everybody came. I, it, it was just so terrifying. And, and I just, I came up with a little neck strain, pain in my neck, and that's all. I know I'm here this morning. I can raise my hands. I can shout. I remember 17 years ago counting it because I was just like fresh out of high school, you know, roaming the road and everything. And I remember I got in December the 26th of 2002. I met in a terrible, terrible bike accident. And I tell you, I spent three months recovering because I have a broken shoulder, broken ankle, uh, injured neck, and a broken wrist, scars all over. And I take months to recover. And I couldn't raise my hand. I couldn't walk. Still, my ankle even act up. And I'm just, I'm looking back then to now this could have been where I could not even stand here. I could, I could not stand. And I know, I know God, as, as the song that Uncle Lynn sung earlier, that we all sung earlier, like, you know, we are here, God had me here, making me live to declare. I'm declaring that I will live, I shall not die, because I'm put on this earth to declare his works, and I will get his works done. Bridging, sometimes, and we are going to be honest, because we're in the, sometimes I know when we kind of look at the, the, the little ones, like, you know, we're not pastors, we're not ministers, and when you see we going around and praising and doing things. Sometimes you may look like you're not in belief. Even myself. Sometimes the way, oh God, use me to do things and to, to talk to people. Bridget, even myself. Some of you may look like, yeah, she ain't, she ain't, she ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm, whatever. But Bridget, you wouldn't even know. 
minister nothing to you and pastor probably you guys might even sit there and, and think probably i'm playing around my conversation with god he's gonna use me he's gonna raise me up and nothing gonna take me out because i'm here for a purpose i am here for a purpose so sometimes well sometimes when you guys see me sit there sometimes i have to just hold myself back because he want to use me he's saying things to me he's leading me to do things and i'm not all but because i'm afraid i'm judged by you i'm being honest i'm afraid to be judged by you sitting looking at me taking me for granted and thinking missing because i'm not I'm not pastor, I'm not minister, I'm not no deacon. I got out of church and got pregnant. So y'all underestimate, but don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate me. Do not, do not underestimate me. Because God is using me and God saved me for a reason. He saved me for a reason. The day when Minister Douglas walked down and tell me when, I'm, when I was playing around, God calling me for a while, and I was playing around, and she walked down to me and tell me that God did not put those scars on you for a reason. This lady didn't know me because I just started coming to this church. She didn't know that I had scars all over me. Yes, I had scars from my back all over from that first accident. And God did not put it for a reason. He was just trying to, you know, use things. He didn't want to kill me. But I guess he wanted to surrender me. He want to surrender me. And sometimes I'm still not taking heed. And then he will throw me down. And trust me, I know. But God, just pray for me. Just pray for me and my family. Hallelujah. In the same breath, can I just say to Sister Teresa that um, you and all the brethren, you don't know. There are a lot of things that you still don't know. Because if you know that 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. and 1 a.m., Pastor and myself would be praying for persons. You don't know that we would see persons in church that they don't know even what is in them. Yeah. And we, as leaders, see what is in them yeah. and telling God about it. Yeah. You don't know that one o'clock in the morning, I would even call for Sister Erica there. I'd be chauffeuring her to her house. She's on the road. Some certain things we don't, you don't know. The burden of our hearts for the people of God. So you might look on and right away, one o'clock in the morning, somebody come to your mind as a leader, you have to jump off the bed and start praying for that person. You don't know. Sometimes you rub yourself asleep. We have seen things in people. You are one of them. So sometimes we don't give ourselves certain things to say. Amen, people of God? We are should be on a different plane that we can see what you cannot see. Yeah. And as you, if you read the word, and if you know who are leading you, then you know that we have a mind for the people. Yeah. And we continue to love you and to pray for you. All of you that are on the Rescue the Persian Deliverance Ministries, we have you. We know that. We have to give an account to God for you. Despite of your behavior, despite of what you do and you don't do, we still have to call you and give an account because God is not going to ask. The church next door, where is Sister Teresa, where is Exhorta Morgan? God is going to ask Pastor and me. So we have to give an account for you. So what you do is important to us. We love you and we appreciate you. Greatness is in every one of you. And by the grace of God, Minister Chambers and Pastor Chambers is going to help you reach to that place in God. That is my desire. I stand in front of you. Ain't lying. That is my desire. We love you. God bless you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you for that. Praise God. At this time, we invite the um, Secretary, uh, like Exalta Morgan. She will do the, uh, the announcement for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Rescue the Perishing Deliverance Ministries, 1264 Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11226. Our telephone number is 347-350-6131, 954 These are the announcement for Sunday, August. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> for Sunday, September 9th, 2018. <laughs> Where the men are in action. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Greetings to our pastors, all the officers and members. Welcome to our visitors. Amen. Amen. Greetings to all our viewers watching us on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and around the world. Periscope. Yes. We are on Periscope. Amen? Amen. We are launching out. Praise the Lord. This is the order of our weekly services. And if, you, if you're not on Periscope, you can, you can join. Amen? Yes. It's like Facebook. You just join. Okay. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Sunday school begins at 9.45 a.m. until 10.45 a.m. Our divine worship begins at 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Youth services are first Sunday, second Sunday, and fourth Sundays from 7 until 9.30 p.m. Third Sundays are for... We know third Sundays are for ladies, our ladies Sunday. And third Sunday nights are for ladies. Amen? Amen. So we, we have services for ladies Sunday. Ladies operate on the Sunday night every third Sunday. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Prayer meeting and Bible studies are from Tuesday nights, 7.30 to 9.30. Fasting services are Thursday mornings from 9 until 2. Choir rehearsals are Thursday nights from 8 until 10. Last Fridays... Last Friday nights of each month are for late night prayer meetings from 8 until midnight. Third Sundays are reserved for the blessing of babies. Every fourth Tuesday night we have a special deliverance service. Please share the word with your friends. If they are unable to attend our services, they can watch us live on rtpdm.org every Sunday. We can also be seen on BCAT TV every Monday night at 10.30 and Tuesdays at 7 a.m. This is Channel 69 on Cablevision, Time Warner Channel 56. RCN Channel 84 and Verizon Fires Channel 44. Find us on Periscope. And um, we're still on YouTube. You can just type RTPDM in the address bar. Amen? Rescue the Perishing, sorry, in the address bar. Rescue the Perishing ministry in the address bar. Amen. Let us know if you're celebrating any important events we want to celebrate with you. Um, I'm still celebrating my birthday. Amen? The year is not finished. Amen? Amen. So if, if there are any late gifts, I still take it. Praise yes, God. Yes. Amen. Oh, minister, if there's any late gifts, I still yes. take it. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Blessing, please remember that we have flyers to give out in the community. Pastors asking all the brethren to get involved in seeking souls for the kingdom of God. If you have been saved and attending Rescue the Perishing for a long period of time, and you desire to become a member, please see Minister Chambers after church to discuss our new members' class. The new members' class is still ongoing, amen? And um, we want to close off that set so we can move on to a new set, amen? Because, we, we, listen, we're not going to have one class for the rest of the year. Those that are in the class know, and if you're new, you're not attending, and you should be attending, and you need to speak to the minister, amen? Um, so that we can get, get graduate you from that class into another class, and um, we can start another set because... Listen, this is a continuous thing. We, we are not just going to be saving one set of people. Amen? We have the whole world out there waiting to be saved. Amen? Praise God. If you're a member and you'd like to be, become a part of the choir, please see minister. Our minister will see you. Amen? Amen. The same way she's seeing it. If she don't see it here, she will see it at her home. Amen? Yes. You don't understand? Yeah. You think she just stay at her home, the Holy Ghost is in touch with her. So if she don't see you here, she's at home, and the Holy Ghost will tell her that you can't sing. I guess the Holy Ghost tell her that I can't sing. Amen? Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All members and visitors are reminded that there's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary. Please use the multipurpose hall downstairs. Please continue to pray for our young people in rescue the perishing that they will walk in holiness before the Lord. Hope will be hosting a banquet on the 3rd of November. Tickets will be available next week at a cost of sixty-five dollars. Amen. Amen. And 
Hope will be hosting. I see somebody looking yeah. um, suspicious. Hope will be hosting a banquet on the 3rd of November. Yeah. Tickets will be available next Woo! week at a cost of $65. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, listen. This, I'm not expecting what I, what I got last, last month for this banquet, okay? Amen? Amen? Is it for the boat ride? Is that a different thing? Is it for this? I want everybody there. Yeah. So start giving minister your five five dollars and stuff, amen. Yes. And I know everybody here have clothes. And nobody pretend like you don't. All of us, God has been good to all of us. So all of us have clothes, amen. So just start put on your five five dollars. No, give it to minister. Don't put it down because you might spend it. So I put on your five five dollars. You write down your name and you put, your, amen? amen, amen. And 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 put in your day, your, your time at work if you need the time off. You put in your time from now. And all of that good stuff. Amen. Because listen, we're going to buy this building and we're going to buy some more. Amen. Unless you don't have any, any, any plans for the ministry. Well, I can understand. But yeah. well, you see, because I, listen, uh, me, God doesn't send me nowhere yet, you know. So, we have to just go and hold my car and just do what we have to do for, for rescue. Amen? Amen. And I think if God is going to send me somewhere, I think he's going to send me to have my own church. But until that day come, I go and go and sit down and make God do what I have to do here. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? I'm not going ahead of God. Amen? Yes. So let me tell you. If you have a, a, have a heart for the ministry, yes. support the ministry. Amen. It doesn't matter because whatever we do here is only what we do for Christ last, you know. Amen. If you think you're going to go outside and do it for Satan, you're going to get back um, some blessing. You have another guest coming. Amen. I can't tell you because I was there. Amen? Yes. So just do it here. Yes. God will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. Amen. That is scriptural. Amen? So if you're doing it for, the, for the, whatever we do, if it's for hope or faith, because yes. I'm a part of hope and faith. Yes. I don't know how, but I know. Because everything they have, I, I support it. Amen. Everything they, it, listen, I can't sing, but if they ask me to sing, I sing. Amen. So I come to the concert and I sing. The last concert we have, I sing, and I am a part of a hope. But I sing for faith. So that means I'm a part of both because I'm a part of rescue. Yes. And I want to see the ministry going because, you know, what, what we don't realize is we think this ministry is just for today or for tomorrow or whatever. But listen, this is bigger than us. Yes. The Bible says, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. There is people out there who need to be saved. It's not just me alone need to be saved, you know. There are people who are in countries that are watching us who have never heard the gospel. You understand? And, and we, we, if we don't do this, what we do here, uh, uh, advance the kingdom of God. One time we used to wonder, uh, maybe I'm, I'm talking too much, or maybe I'm thinking too much, but one time we used to wonder, oh, oh the, the, we're going to reach some countries. And see, God gave us the Amen. avenue to reach Amen. those countries. Amen. And we're still here sitting down playing church and idling and going on. But listen, if you don't give into the ministry, we can't advance. The, the, the tithes and the offering that we pay and all of this good stuff. When we come out concert and when we do all of this good stuff, it helps pastor for, for, for fix up in the, the control room with all of this stuff we're doing yeah, there. Sure. I don't understand that logic, but pastor is doing this stuff in there. Well, yes. I don't understand, but he knows what he's doing. Yes. And we are reaching places. Yes. You understand yes. me? Yes. So if we don't pay with tithes, we can't buy instruments, you know? Yes. Yeah. We have to take care of whatever needs to be done for God. Amen? Amen. And when you, when you um, come to this, the, the stuff that we have and you support it, all of this goes to what, what is being done for God. And you can't lose. Yes. I am the, you see, I, you can't lose. Me not losing. Yes. No. You don't understand. I am not losing. You see how I look good? Yes. It's all because of God. I'm the band cute, you know, because God knows. But all of this is because of God. You know, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I run a joke. I say, but all of this is because of God. Amen. Amen? I, I go to my work. I get my pay. I pay my tithes because of God. Yes. Nobody never tell me if you pay it, you know. Yes. I read the word and I know that I'm supposed to. When I come to whatever is kept here, I do it because of God. Amen. You see, because when I go back to God and I ask for my stuff, God, me, 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 I can tell God what I want. And because I put in, I can get out. Amen. You understand? Yeah, so if, you, if we're having a... a, 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 a a banquet and you don't support it because most of the time you know seriously people what, what happened come on come on we, we we have to we have to put play our part we can't expect to have rescue and have deeper life playing rescue's part yes. the rescue is supposed to play their part and then deeper life back us up yes. 
So I don't understand. Come on. Put, I tell you, I'll put on a two cents together. And give me, minister, write down your name. Do whatever you got to do. It's our banquet coming up. And listen, I look out for everybody. And I say, no, come here, call on your name up here. Amen? Amen. I, I know I can't call from pastor, you know. Yeah. Everything we have, Mr. Pastor, dear. Yeah. We're side by the musician, by the MC, by the cultural woman. Yeah. Everything. Amen? So be can expect it. But other than that, pastor is always supportive. Amen. Sunday night, every Sunday night we have you meeting in here. You understand? So if if and, and listen, not because he do have a job, job that pastor come like he work more than me, we have a job. Amen. Yeah, true. So listen, whatever we have supported. Yes. Amen? Amen. And just pretend like I know me up here and minister and, and just support it. Amen. Yeah. Pretend like his pastor and minister telling you, I support it. Yeah. Come here because it's me talking and you don't like me, you're not going to support it. But pretend like his minister and pastor and just support it. Amen. Because whatever we're doing, only what you do for Christ last, as I said before. Amen. And she's in Kuwait. You know, she, you know, listen, Sister Janet is my friend, you know. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I thank God for you. Amen. In Kuwait. You know how far that is? Sister Janet in Kuwait. May the Lord bless you. I pronounce a blessing upon you today. Amen. Blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I want it to overtake you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I don't know where Q8 is. You know. I don't know if I will ever go there. You know, understand? I don't know if I will ever get a chance to go there. Worse yet, forgot preach or anything. I talk on their mic. But Sister, Sister Janet is there, and I am hearing me over there now. Yeah, Amen? To See? She hearing me over there, and I don't know if I will ever get to go there. So I am thanking God for this. Yes. Live stream, all different. I guess you don't understand what God is doing. Yeah. But you see, because I know God is going to do some serious stuff, Amen. he has already started and he's going to finish what he has started. Yeah. I have to give God thanks. Amen. Yeah. So I bless you, Sister Janet. She's Glory to God. She's a thank to my friend. See, see, you hear? <laughs> you don't understand. God Almighty. Brethren, please remember that. I, I said that already? Yes. 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 Amen. Okay. Let me get so caught up in all of my stuff. We are still reading our scripture daily. Tomorrow's yes. scripture will be Judges 9. Amen? Amen? Tomorrow's scripture will be Judges 9. And, and Brother Lawrence was saying earlier, it, it, it's part-time. Your part-time Christian can't fight full-time devil. Amen? Amen? You remember you were talking earlier? Part-time Christian cannot fight full-time full devil. Amen. And when you go home, remember it. Amen? Amen. Praise Amen. God. Our pastor will be preaching at Grace Church of the Firstborn on Utica Avenue this evening and tomorrow evening. You'll be preaching at Freedom Hall in Queens on Thursday, Thursday evening. Deeper Life World Outreach Ministry, September 30th. Trinity Apostolic on October 1st. October 21st at, um, you know, Pastor Sir Paul. I don't know his church name, but he's in Long Island. He was the, the, the speaker, the, the, the MC for Pastors Appreciation. He'll be, pastor will be preaching there on October 21st. And New Life on Empire, the evening of October 21st. So it, it will be at Pastor Support's church in the morning, then it will be at New Life in the, uh, in the evening. Please support our pastor as God continues to use him for his glory. Um, continue to pray for him, amen? Amen. Um, amen. He was an evangelist before a pastor. Amen? amen? He was an evangelist before a past, before he became a pastor, full-time pastor. Amen. And it, 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 that don't mean that God took away the evangelism part of it. Is still evangelizing, amen. amen. So, so I, I know you know, um, God is opening doors for him to preach yeah. at a lot of other churches, and he's gonna, God is gonna open more doors. Yeah, we have God. to pray for him, amen. We have to pray for him amen. because listen, you see, when him go here and him, what them used to call him, preaching machine, that's what they used to say, the preaching machine. And now, you see, when he go there and he do that, we look good, you don't know that, yes. we look good, yes. amen. And people will want, people will hear him, and people will come and will visit. So we have to pray for him, amen? amen. That the, the, the anointing will be intensified. Yes. Minister Douglas would like to meet with the ladies after church today. And the color for next Sunday is pink and black. Tithes and offering given, it shall be given back unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. For the same which the measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Luke 6, 38. Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now here which said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Malachi 3.10 
review the notice board for upcoming events as well as support other churches. Amen? Amen. The thought for the week, you have, Jesus our God is saying to you, you have no idea what I've prepared for you. Stop trying to plan everything yourself and just trust me. Yes. Amen? Amen? You have no idea what I have prepared for you. Stop trying to plan everything yourself and trust me. Amen? Amen? A lot of times we, we give God the problem and we take it back. As soon as we finish praying, we take it back and want to fix it. Things Amen. We want to rectify the situation. We want to fight the battle. But let God do what he does best. Amen? Yes. These yes. are the announcement for Sunday, September 9th, 2018. You have a blessed week and God bless you. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Exalta. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we bless his name this morning. Praise God. At this time, we ask Brother Kevin. We invite Brother Kevin to come, and he's going to do the, um, the pledge for us. Yeah, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. God is good. His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Would you stand with me as we do the pledge and the offering? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Father, I'm going to pray for us. Father, I give you thanks for your goodness, your loving kindness, your tender mercy, O oh God, unto us, mighty God. Morning by morning, Jesus Christ, new mercies. You show us, mighty God. Even when we don't deserve it, oh God. John said, you love us. It's not because we love you, but you first love us. And so we thank you for the love, oh God Almighty, that you show unto us, Lord. Even undeserved, oh God. You cover us. You provide for us. You protect us from the enemy, oh God Almighty. And we stand here to bless you this morning. And so, Lord God, as we present our offering and tithes unto you, Lord, that we should bless us with, O oh God, that you give us strength, O oh God. Some of us don't know this morning how, mighty God, we keep our job, but God, this morning I can hold up my hand because you bless me and I bless him back your work this morning. I tell you thanks. Thank you, O oh God, for all of us this morning, O oh God. Bless who have to give. Bless who don't have to give. Help them to realize and to understand, O oh God Almighty, that you're a provider. You provide for Abraham, O oh God, when he didn't know where the sacrifice was coming from, O oh God. You tell him to bring his only son to you, O oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. J Abraham said, you are my provider, Jehovah Jireh. And this morning, I call you Jehovah Jireh. Oh God, for many of us this morning, you will work a miracle. Oh God, someone is looking for you for the bills to pay, oh God, and don't know where it's coming from. The rent drew, oh God Almighty. But we ask you this morning, because you're a provider. Make a way, oh God, we make a for someone this morning. It is blessed to give than to receive. If you have, you can give. But if you don't have, you can. Thank you, Lord. As I said, the pledge. Hallelujah. As we give in today's offering. As we give in today's offering. Hallelujah. We believe, we believe the Lord for. Jobs are better jobs. Jobs are better jobs. Be raises. raises. And bonuses. And bonuses. And bonuses. <laughs> Settlements and commission. And commission. Estate, and Estate and inheritance. Interest and income. Interest and income. Checks in, the mail. Checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, gifts and surprises. Finding, money. finding money, bills paid off, off. debt demolished, demolish. royalty received, receive. soul saved, save. and body's heal. heal is offering time, is, offering is, time. Giving time. is giving time. Give it up for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Brad Kevin. Are you just follow the, the instruction of the ushers? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise, and, um, Praise God. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, with a weapon in my right hand. 
I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, with the weapon in a mirror. Warrior, oh, warrior, eh. warrior, oh, warrior. Eh. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior. If you're a warrior, you got to stand up and yes. ready to war. Because the enemy is not playing. He's going to constantly come at us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. At this time, we invite everyone to stand as we invite our pastor. Hallelujah. Praise God. Warrior. Oh. Warrior. Oh. Maria hey. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, with the weapon in my right hand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, a Christian warrior with the weapon in my right hand. Warrior. Oh. Let me see how many warriors in church. How many warriors are here today? Right. How many you know you're a warrior? Raise that. Let me see if you know you're a warrior. If you know you're a warrior, only some of you, some of you are just, so that's, I understand why we're saying that singing. So I want all the warriors, if you know you're a warrior, Jesus' blood reach, cleanses you. I want you to put your hands together 
let sister Janet Barkley hear us all the way in Kuwait because she's watching us amen and all the people around the world are watching us amen here we go I am a warrior a Christian warrior oh we don't let God in our right hand I am a warrior hey a Christian warrior we don't let God in our right hand warrior put your hands for the Lord warrior put your hands straight warrior
lift your hands up. Oh, wonderful freedom. freedom. The glory to his name. I'm out of the bondage. I'm into the freedom. And the rock is higher than higher. Hey, hey, hey! Jehovah guides me. I am under the rock. Oh, tell me, oh, tell me. I am, I am under the rock. Jesus name so sweet Every rock we rock upon Jesus Jesus name One so more time sweet. Jesus name so sweet Emmanuel name so sweet I have Jesus name so sweet Emmanuel name so sweet And every rock we rock upon Jesus Jesus name so sweet Every rock we rock upon Jesus Jesus name so sweet Rock holy, rock holy High, high, high Rock holy, rock holy Mount Zion children Rock holy, Mount Zion children Rock holy you can't go to heaven with a carnal mind. You can't go to heaven with a carnal mind. You can't go to heaven with a carnal mind. The carnal mind must stay behind. All my sins are taken away. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands for the Lord, everybody. Come on. Make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on. God is a good God, amen. I love the presence of the Lord. The Bible says his presence is, remain standing, please. Is fullness of joy at his right hand side. Their, their pleasures forevermore. Remain standing, please. Remain standing. I said, remain standing, please. Not, not hearing? Somebody say, man. Happy that you're here today. Good to see you all. Those of us who are sweating, who are alive. Amen. Yes. Mr. Simon, glad to have you, sir. Amen. Amen. And I thank God that minister saw the initiative for us to be here on Monday. Monday. And we have Sister Amore was here, Minister Douglas, Minister Chambers, and myself giving out flyers. And because of that, Sir Simon is here today. Amen. Amen. And we thank you for, and I know you've been enjoying the service so far. I said, I know you've been enjoying the service so far. Sir? Amen. I, we know you'll come again. Amen. And we thank God that you, you came out and God, God bless you, Minister Ivan, for leading us here on Monday. Amen. And some of you don't know the importance. If we want people to come to church, we've got to do something. Amen, Church of God? And so often time, it's an announcement, passes ox, and all the brothers to come and give out flyers. Nobody came. Most of them was Sister Amore. Amen. Thank God for her. Minister Douglas, Minister Chambers, and myself. We thank God. God's having to find one person who is a person. Amen? Yes, amen? And if we want to minister to people, we've got to throw out our line. Amen? And we thank God that even one came today. We thank God for you, Sir Simon. Mr. Chambers called him last night 
he said he took out his suit already he may not, he said he was ready from last night to come probably from Friday night to come happy that you're here God bless you God bless all the officers amen God bless you tremendously amen God bless you all those of you viewing us around the world as sister as exalted Morgan told we're now on a new media name Periscope amen so we're still we're off you stream or are now on Periscope which is viewed many many can reach many many more people we thank God for Facebook YouTube Periscope and rtpdm.org we give, somebody give God praise so our greater audience really is those that are viewing us the Bible study I, I, I didn't bring the Bible study live on Tuesday night because of some technical reason and I broadcast it on Friday I think it was Friday, Friday. We're, we're here Friday night many of us are we're here praying Friday night some, sometimes you don't know we're here praying some Friday night we're here I think last week Friday night to praying amen somebody and Friday night about 600 on that person were viewing the Tuesday night Bible study just on Facebook alone not talking YouTube not Periscope so God this ministry is reaching souls outside amen somebody and I, and I appreciate Exalta Marga for what she said if you are part of this ministry give your support if you are part of this ministry well if you are not I don't expect you to support but if once you are part of this ministry you will give your support somebody say amen we want to pray for the children before you leave for school amen those who start back school we want to pray with you after church today amen somebody but as for now raise a hand and say there's a word in the house, a word in the house. come on lift your hands everybody lift your hands in his presence just close your eyes lock out everything come on lift those hands lock out everything and everybody father we thank you father we bless you father we appreciate you for who you are you are king of kings and lord of lords we need to hear from you we need make minister darkens welcome as you come to minister to us today on this men's sunday if we don't hear from you what will we do what will we do oh wanting you more each day show us your prayer Time, one more time, one more time, one more time. We need to hear from. We need a word. We need a word, word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? What doesn't matter what you say or me say the word of the Lord is the most precious word and it's the final word and when I can say something to you but when God give you a word the blessing come through the word your prosperity come through the word You can go on 
what God says. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hallelujah. Can you worship the Lord a little bit? Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we look towards you today. Lord Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We magnify your name. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus. Be to the name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be blessed. the balm and Gilead, Lord Jesus. For out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. We magnify your name. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Find the flame. Holy Spirit, find the flame. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, find the flame. Oh, find the flame. Hallelujah. Let the flame begin to burn. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, 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 just worship the Lord, just worship the Lord, hallelujah, just worship him. Hallelujah, Lord. Just worship the Lord. 
Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Jesus. We surrender all to you. surrender all to you Lord Hallelujah Jesus I surrender all I surrender all all I give, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to you, I give, worship him, I surrender all, hallelujah. I surrender all, all to you I give I surrender all I surrender Bless you this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord today again. Another Sunday. Hallelujah. Jesus. I want to just minister to you from the word of the Lord. Thank Pastor Chambers, Sister Chambers, and all the leaders of Rescue the Perishing Deliverance Ministry. I give praise and honor to God for what you're doing. Thank God for his mercy and his grace. And we just bless God for all of us that are here those of us who is on the internet and forever every one of us every one of us the ground is level at the foot of the cross and everyone have the opportunity to come before him It doesn't matter how you might feel. The door is open for all to come in. And we just bless the Lord for that. I thank the Lord for my wife. Last night, I, I told her that I wasn't feeling well. I was peeing up all over. I got, got up, and she said, oh, I'm going to anoint you and pray for you. But somehow she fell asleep, or me fell asleep. She never remembered to do that. And I got up this morning. I felt so sick. I don't know if it's 
time our age is yes you know um, some of us I, I'm praying that the Lord will restore my youth hallelujah amen, amen. <laughs> God can do anything amen. amen if God can stop the sun then he can roll back your age <laughs> hallelujah praise be to the name of the Lord so um, I'm going to ask my wife to come and she's going to pray for me she slept last night, so she's going to prove Everybody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody say, yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, let us agree together as we enter the throne room of heaven, right at the throne of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ, who is seated at the right hand of the Father, ever making intercession for us. Lord, as you grant clearance in the Holy Spirit, the fire presence of the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you anoint your man's servant. Anoint your man's servant. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost go through his body, his entire being. In the mighty name of Jesus, arrest every spirit of the powers of darkness that seek to lurk around, to shake his body. I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. As you lose the powers of darkness, as you bind the powers of darkness, and lose the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire presence of the Holy Ghost around your servant, as he ministers as you would have him to do, in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray for receptive hearts, Lord, receptive spirits to receive the word of God, Lord God, from your throne room. Let this word go out as thus said the Lord God of hosts. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you silence the powers of darkness who would seek to lurk, Lord, to prevent this word from going out in clear clarity. Let the name of Jesus, let the Spirit of God arise and the enemy is scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your word go out. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let the fire presence of the Holy Ghost overshadow us now in the name of Jesus and take charge. And every spirit that is not of God be subdued to the power of God now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of the Lord arise and the enemy be scattered in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and worship the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 8. Genesis chapter 8. And I read a few verses. Reading from verse 8 to 12. Also he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abasted. And from, from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest. For the sole of her foot, and she returned unto him into the heart. And the water were on the face of the whole earth. And he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her in unto him into the heart. And he stayed yet another seven days again. And he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening. And lo, 
In her mouth was a olive leaf plucked off. So now I know that the water were abased from off the face of the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him anymore. And today, if I would give you a topic, is the resting place of his glory. The resting place. The resting place. You may be seated. There was a I was reading something about uh, this young man who Jesus appeared to him. He was not thinking about God. In fact, it was four of them and, it, and, and they were uh, it was spring break, and they were thinking of going to Florida to have a great time. So while they were packing up, one of them was in the hotel, and he was packing his suitcase to go with the other, the other three. And while he was there, Jesus came in the room. And he started to cry, just... The presence of the Lord was there. And this young man began to cry and begin to weep. And they came, the, the, the people from the hotel thought that he was having a nervous breakdown. And they were knocking on the door, knocking on the door, no answer. And he was just crying, repenting, and crying before the Lord. Finally, Jesus left. And he opened the door and they realized that there was something different about him this time. So he put his suitcase in the car and while he was in the car, the spirit of God spoke to him. And the spirit of God says, I want you to be a missionary. So he spoke it out loudly to the other three guys that was in the, the car. And he said, I'm going to be a missionary. And one of them said, what is that? Because they never heard anything like that before. And he said, I'm going to be a missionary. And one of them says, this guy found God. We can't take him with us. We have to leave him with his parents. This guy found God. This guy is different. We can't carry him with us. So they took him by his parents' house. So his parents was one of those Baptists and, you know, we call them nominal church. And they said, what happened to you? And they said, no. God don't talk to people like that anymore. It must be a deceiving spirit that was talking to you. And the father took the young man and he began to drill him. And he says, when last have you read the Bible? I have not read the Bible. When last have you gone to church? I have not gone to church. What you are doing? I was taking drugs. And he said, the father said, see, that can't be God. That cannot be God. Because you're not even in a, a good position with God. So that God could come to you and talk to you like that. Mm -hmm. 
The father says, listen, look how many people are in church. And God never even appeared to them. And appeared to you, you are taking drugs. Something is wrong with you. But his wife came and said, you better leave that boy alone. Back because something has happened to him. That young man become a great, great minister in Colombia. I don't know if you ever heard about this, this um, minister that went to Colombia and he had filled out a stadium. People just came and they just begin to pray and just pray and just pray. And all of a sudden, uh, all the jokes, Lord, and all of those people begin to, they begin to arrest them. There was so much crime that was going on in Colombia. In fact, before I back up a little, I was reading that he, he, while he was inside his room, when he went to Colombia and he was inside his room, he saw the room and the house was filled with demons. And he said it wasn't like they were in a shadow. It was real like, oh, they, this thing is real. They were really standing there. And he said one of them who looked like he was the boss. He was talking and he says, you better get out of Cali. We don't want you here. And he said he began to feel sick, sick, sick in his body. And he said, oh no, I am not leaving because God told me to be here. And if God said that I am going to be here, it doesn't matter what you want to say about me. Guess what? I'm going to stay. And guess what? After the demons were gone, he started to revive a little. And it took him six months for him to feel, get over that sickness. And God used him mightily. God used him mightily. I don't care who you are. God is looking for that man or for that woman to be that resting place for the spirit of God. I told this story the last time I minister about Catherine Coleman. Oh, this woman had gone through so many things in her life. So many things in her life. Broken marriages. And she reached to a, 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 a dead end street. The, the writer says she reached to a dead end street. And she said, God, I have nothing left but just my love for you. But God, if you can take nothing, then here is nothing. Use me. When you have reached to the point of nothing less, then you are just a candidate ready for the move of God in your life. And God is looking for that man. God is looking for that woman whose heart is right when there is nothing in you but just him because it's all about him. What a great ministry that this woman has. That the presence of God, if she would fill stadium and over two or three million people got healing and deliverance to her ministry just because she found the Holy Spirit find a resting place in her life. Will God find you to be that resting place where you learn to host the presence of God so that God can move to you? Oh Lord Jesus. And this is one of the things I, I, I don't understand. That even though 
how she was mightily used and people get healing and deliverance. She have a bad heart. You know, we don't, you know one thing we don't understand the ways of the Lord? We understand the laws of God. But the Bible says Moses was acquainted with the ways of God. You know why? Because he stays in the presence of God. And he understands the ways of the Lord. Because the ways of the Lord is right. And the ways of the Lord is past finding out. Hallelujah! I don't know why God would choose these young men. I don't know why God would use a woman with a bad heart. In fact, the last preaching that she preached, there were so many, oh many thousands of people got healing and deliverance at Catherine Coleman a, a, a meeting. And after she leave out of the pulpit and go around the back, she collapsed. She went into the hospital and never revived. She died. Do you know the reason why you are born again? Somebody said, I'm born again to go to heaven. I just want to go to heaven and rest. Lord Jesus. But you are born again with much more than going to heaven. Yes, you are born again so that God can restore back that which was lost in Adam. Yes. The image of God that had been lost. The first man, Adam, died. He bring death. So Jesus Christ, who is the second Adam, he come to bring life. You are born again. That through your life, the glory of God will be manifested. Are you with me? Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You have a purpose. Can I say this? Let me be contrary a little bit. Do you know that Jesus prayed that you don't go to heaven? <laughs> he said, yes, pastor. He said, Lord, I pray that you don't take them out. Oh, you want to go up to heaven and rest? I'm tired. I'm staying down here. I'm tired of the trouble and the trial. I want to go to heaven and rest. God never wants you to go to heaven and rest. He wants you to bring heaven here. Amen. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. He wants the glory of God to be manifest through you. So he prayed to the Father and said, Father, don't take them out. Lord Jesus. You know, we would have to have, you know, if God did want to take you once you're born again, guess what? We would have to have coffee every Sunday morning in church instead of opening the baptismal pool. So as you're born again, oh, you're gone home. Hallelujah. Some people wouldn't come to church, you know. <laughs> they, they wouldn't come to church. <laughs> Or as you baptize and, 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 and you have this cotton lineup. Can you imagine some people would say, I don't want that one. That's not a good word, board. I, I, I want something more ghoulish. You know, some, you know, choose your coffin. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But God don't God want you to stay here in the trouble. The trouble that you're facing. It is God who allow it to happen. So that through the trouble, his glory will be manifested. Hallelujah. His glory, his ways will be seen. There are so many things happening in this land. There are so many things that are happening. 
I saw that in California, they begin to try to pass law that you can't read your Bible on the street. They're passing laws that is contrary to the Christian principle. I saw somebody send something on my text and it says, this is what is happening in the school. They are teaching Satanism in the school. To have a Bible is out loud. So you can't go to somebody and say, yes, I'm a Christian who both shall die. You have to demonstrate the power of the living God, the resurrected Christ that lives on the inside. And you only can demonstrate that is when you abide in the presence of the Lord. When you, when you have found in you that resting place. Can't be fake news. Can't be fake news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He died so that you and I can live. You know, can you imagine Jesus going to the cross and saying to the Roman switch, you hit me one more time with that whip. You wicked man, whipping him in his back. You hit me one more time with that whip, and I called Gabriel and Michael and you to just come and cut off your head. Look what they have done to me. They planted the crown of thorns and put it over my head. I did not do anything wrong. And look, look, look what is happening to me. You whip me one more time and you see what is going to happen. I heal your sick. I cleanse your leper. I feed you. I open the blind eyes. I raise the dead. And this is what you're doing to me. So like some Christian. You hit me one more time and see what is going to happen today. Hallelujah. Somebody says, when he was on the cross, you and I was on his mind. It was about you. It was me about me. It was the purpose of God to restore back the image of God that had been lost in Adam. It wasn't about you. God of a divine purpose the purpose of God. God wants you to live out his purpose so that through the presence of God that is rest upon your life. Guess what? He manifests himself. We have to wake up now. We have to wake up. Some of us have some divine calling on our life but we're wasting time. You struggle and you, you know, I, I have a supervisor. He, he is a Catholic. Bless the Catholic Lord. And he said, he said to me, I want to be like you. I said, oh no. Be like Jesus. 
He said, you have so much patience. I didn't know that. Ask my wife. <laughs> Am I a patient person? <laughs> but he was seeing something that I was He said, I, I want, I want, you know what? I, 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 I'm going to pray that God give me patience. I said, be careful on what you pray for. Because when you pray for patience, God give you trials. Then he said, oh no, oh no. I don't want no trials, but I want the patience. But you can't have the crown without the cross. And some of the things that you're going through in life is God set it up because he's setting you up for the blessing to come true. God has set you up. Because when you have problems and situations arise, guess what? You have to go down on your knee. You have to cry out to him. And the more you cry out to him, the more he's going to add more grace to you. The more you call unto him, the more mercy is going to show to you. Because God wants to make himself real to you. You know, sometimes sometime I heard testimony of people and they blame the devil for everything. Why the devil do me this? Then what you do to the devil? Yes, brother, laugh. You can't laugh in a church. What you do to him? Why is he always a do something and you never do nothing to him? If you found out that the devil is working against you, then you work against him. Start to pray. Start to, start to pray and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And tell me if any demons in hell is going to come around you when you're host in the presence of God. Tell me which demon is going to come out of hell or wherever they come from to come and sit in your living room when the fire and the presence of God is all around. Show me But sometimes, sometimes we, we say, oh, I the devil do me this. And the devil must laugh and say, yes, man. Hey, hear them testify about me. Yeah. Ha, ha. He feel good because that's what I want to do them something. So out of their mouth come life and death. So they are speaking the things unto themselves, said, I am doing it. You're a child of God. The spirit of God live inside you. And when you speak, you speak as God. So when you speak it into the being, you're giving him legal right to do you everything that is spoken out of your mouth. Nothing good never happened to me. So nothing good never happened to you. Yes, I feel pain. But I see the healer. Hallelujah. Yes, pain is a reality. The thing is a reality. But I trust in the one. The one who had the resurrected power. The one that died and was raised, raised again from the dead. I trust in his power to deliver me. Amen. So let the storm cloud rise. Let the billows roll. I have an anchor in Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is more than what the enemy wants to dash out against. I, I, I was talking to this atheist. And he said, I can't believe in your God. Because your God seems to be a hungry God. I said, who give you that idea? By what church people demonstrate to him. They're always 
hungry and that God is going to judge you. I said, oh no. God is a lover. He's not a fighter, a killer. I said, the last point of God is to judge you. The highest point of God is his mercy and his grace. You cannot stop God from loving you. He, no matter what you have done, he still loves you. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It no matter. It no matter what people say about you, God still loves you. Even no matter what you say about yourself, God still loves you. Amen. You can't stop God from loving you. Amen. I said, I love not because I want God to love me. But because he loved me first, that's why I love. I have mercy because I have obtained mercy. So everything I do, I do it according to his mercy. I have forgiveness because I have been forgiven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. There was about a third of the angels in heaven. Are you with me? Anybody sleeping? Say amen. amen. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for honest people in church. All right. It's all right. <laughs> About a third of the angels decide to rebel against God. Yeah. Satan and all. Yeah. But <clears throat> let me tell you something. Sometimes people get the, the thing wrong. It wasn't like God was sitting on the throne. And he called all the, the angels. He said, Michael, come here. We hear some rebellion is happening in certain sector of the kingdom. Get the flaming sword. Get the warring angel. Let them come and protect the throne. It wasn't like that. I want you to get the message. God no need no angel for protecting. I, I, I read, I read in Thessalonians chapter 2. It says, the glory, the presence of God is so powerful. He is so powerful. That I believe when the devil try and, and try to, to enter his courts with sin. That the glory of his presence knock him so far. Jesus said I beheld Satan as a lightning fallen from heaven. Yes. 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 That same glory. That same presence live inside of you. That's why the devil is afraid of you. He is afraid of the fire. He is afraid of the glory. He is afraid of what you are carrying. You are carrying the glory of his presence. You are carrying the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. You have it inside of you. Every one of us that are born again by the spirit of God. Lord Jesus, you 
have it. Touch somebody and tell him, say, you have it. You know, devil afraid of you. He's afraid of you. Demons in hell. Afraid of you. Because guess what? He lost the battle at Mount Calvary. He lost the battle. Hallelujah. God, Jesus, strip him of all his power and all his right. Jesus, strip him down of every, every power that he had. And he, you know what Jesus did with the power? He gave it to you. He said to Peter, upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I give to you the keys of the kingdom. You have it. You have it inside of you. Right now. Right now. Right this minute. You have the glory and the power of God is inside of you. And the dove is looking for a resting place. He is looking for that place where he can feel comfortable to abide. Listen, you know what God requires? Fellowship. He wants to know more of you. So your troubles, the troubles is just get, it, it God allow troubles to come. Why? So that you can focus on him because God can't do anything. Lord Jesus, he can't do anything. Get down on your knees and cry out and cry out and cry out and cry out and call on the name of Jesus. Declare who you are in the Lord and you speak to your situation. Speak to the mountain. Speak to everything that is, is coming against you. You speak to it in the name of Jesus. tell you this I I I like when people receive from the Lord without I have to do anything about it you know um, me and my wife we ministers we used to minister a lot in Jamaica and <clears throat> She was the one that prayed for people and they fall over. Me just stand by. Make she do that. Because that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. I'm telling you. Listen. So, when I went to Jamaica, Pastor Norman said, Listen, you have to pray for me, for these brethren. So I said, All right. One long line, and may I pray. Some of them are fall over, yes, but that's not me. Can they drain you? And they place the church's heart. And you drink water and I sweat. And as one don't one come, one, oh Lord Jesus. Some of them, my Lord gosh, you have to spend a little more time. And when I time when they think the line I got done, when they look, the line reached back out of the road. The world is this. I thought I was here for vacation. But God was gracious to me. Next time I she come. And you know something? My, my ministry, my, I share the word 
And I bring people in faith so that you can receive. No line. You receive your own thing from the Lord without I have to do nothing to it. So my wife there, she can tell you. I mean, it's to tell, I share the word of God and because the, the heart of the people was hoping, the power of God fell. Run from the end pulpit. I've never seen something like that. I run from behind the pulpit. I put on the mic. And the presence of God walked in the church. People was being filled. Nobody touched no mic. For long, about 30 minutes or more. People was being filled, people was being delivered, people was being set free without I have to do nothing with it. I love when God coming in and God do it. Hallelujah. I have to end up a repentance and God forgive me of my sin. I don't know my sin but I am asking God because when the holiness of God step into a place every one of the stand up attention. You don't even have desire to go to the bathroom because the king Walk in the place. When the king walked in and the glory of God is in that God presence is here. But when he walked in, not even the little baby cry. Not even the little child cry. My God, not even nobody move. Hallelujah. Everybody begin to reach out because the presence of God holiness was inside the room. Anytime God appeared somewhere, he always said, take off your shoes for the place where you're standing is a holy ground because he's there. You want to see God do something? Make his presence start coming. You don't know where people come from. You do not know where people come from. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. And anytime God presence come in a church, there is always fruit that he left behind. Some blind eyes open. Some sick body is going to be healed. When you check yourself and you go and you say, but wait, me didn't have a pain in my back, but wait, where God? I can't find it. God do it without even telling you. Hallelujah, because his mercy. He's a merciful father. He's an everlasting God. He will do something without even telling you. Jesus. I love him, Jesus. I just love Jesus. Hallelujah. I love the one who is touched with the feelings of my infirmities. Oh, I just love the Lord. I just want to magnify his name. The glory that is inside of you is the same glory that is in heaven. To your born again experience his heaven on the inside. It's the atmosphere of heaven on the inside. And that which is on the inside of you, God wants to manifest on the outside. Hallelujah. So that people will know that the most high is alive today. You know how powerful the glory of God is? Let me tell you something. I was reading Revelation. I think 22. 22? No, you don't know. I was reading Revelation. And it was talking about the city that God built out of pure gold. So you're going to him or you're going to stay in the city down here. The city 
was built out of pure gold. John said, I saw it came down from heaven. And when I read it, I look at it and I said, let me Google this. Because I don't know much about furlong. So I Google it. And it says the height of the city was about 1,500 miles. One city. 1,500. That means it, it's supposed to be out of the old earth atmosphere. 1,500 miles to the side, to the width, right around. Four square. So there, there is layer after layer of, 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 of that great city. And when I, when I begin to look through the scripture, I realize one thing that was missing out of that city. There was no light. There was no light. No Edison. Because there was no sunshine. And you're not going to be lacking a vitamin D. Because your body has to be perfect to live in that city. Lord Jesus. Do you know what is not in the city? Any shadow. Oh Lord. You know when when light yes. Yes. one way it reflects your shadow. Yes. The glory, the presence of God is so great that there is no shadow that can cause in that city. There is no shadow that is going to be on the wall. There is no shadow that is going to be there because the glory of God fill every space, fill, fill every corner. The glory of God and that same glory live inside of you. Can God find you as a resting place for his glory? He's looking for you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Make me that resting place. The Bible says in Genesis that Noah sent out a raven, but the raven never returned. He never find his resting place. But a dove is a different type of bird. A dove is a gentle bird. A dove is that bird that he had to find a resting place. And the Bible says that the dove flow, he hovered around. He was looking for a place that he could find rest. And he found none. So he returned back to Noah. And the Bible says Noah take in the bird unto himself. And after seven days he sent out the bird again. And he flew. And the only thing that the bird saw maybe was just a leaf. A olive leaf. And he just picked it off. I don't know how that bird did that. But he it off and it bring back the evidence hallelujah to Noah that the water was receding and my God after seven days he sent out the bird again but this time he never returned because he had found a resting place where is your resting place for the Holy Spirit of God can God find in you that Rest in place. 
can God find that resting place? Oh Lord Jesus. Let us all stand. You answer that question. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, with your heads bow, everyone standing. And your eyes closed. Is there someone here that you don't know Jesus as a personal savior? You don't know Jesus. I want to pray for you before the service is over. You're here, you're not a Christian. I want to just put, you put up your hands and take it down. You're here, you're not a Christian, do it quickly. I see that hand, sir. You may take it down. Is there another hand here? You're not a Christian. And you want me to pray with you. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you, sir, to just step out and just come right here. Wanna be <clears throat> fill me up. Hallelujah. Till I overflow. Oh, I wanna run oh, over. I wanna run over. Oh, fill me up.
continue praying. Lord, I may have some peace in my life. Bless me, Jesus, and keep me that I can walk in your pathway. I love mercy upon my soul. And create a new heart in me. And let me walk in thy footsteps. Bless me, Lord, and bless me more. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I pray. Amen. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Ah. Touch him, Jesus. Touch him, Jesus. Touch him, Jesus. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. You have spent so many of your time without Jesus. Don't spend not even one more day without him. Yes. Start today. You can always start anew with Jesus. And today is the beginning of a new day for you. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Talk to the lady over there. I want to run home. Till I, I overcome, overcome. Lord, I, I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. Just hold the hands of the person that is next to you. Jesus. I don't know what you're going through. I don't, I don't know your situation. I don't know the burden that you're carrying. I don't know what you want God to do for you. But I'm speaking a word right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And I want you to just receive from the Lord today. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, as I come before you, as your people, as we, your people, are before the throne of grace today. Lord, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus that every sick body will be healed today. Father, we curse sickness. We curse disease. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus right now. Father, God, I pray that God, your blessing will come upon your children. Every need shall be met in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we are like a broken vessel before you, God. You can mold us into whatsoever you want us to be. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you are loose today. You are loose in the name of Jesus. I loose you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I loose you in your mind. I loose you in your heart. I loose every part of you. You are made whole to the blood of Jesus Christ by the resurrected power that raised Jesus from the dead that dwelleth in you in the name of Jesus we claim the victory right now
now and we thank you God for what you're about to do in the name of Jesus 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 Come on, come on, worship the Lord and thank him. Come on, thank the Lord for what he has started to do. Hallelujah, Hallelujah in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah, come on, begin to Hallelujah. thank Hallelujah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for deliverance, God. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, 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 every fetus is broken, every burden is removed right now, in the name of Jesus, be loose. Jesus. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are right now, wherever you are, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, receive your blessing right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. If you're on the airway right now, in the name of Jesus, be loose. In Jesus' name. Be made whole. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and worship the Lord. Pastor. Come on, somebody love the Lord. So, Lord, make me that resting place. Come on, so, Lord. Make me that resting place. Make Hallelujah. me that resting place. Defense the Lord. Make me that resting place. Make me that resting place. Rakushi Come on, we're about to close. Somebody shout glory in the house. Shout glory in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why you bless up the Lord today? Hallelujah. God is a good God, isn't he? Thank you, Lord. The dove found an olive leaf. Signify a new start. Things are ready. I can say, Brother Simon, you are now Brother Simon. Amen. Amen. You ask the Lord to forgive you today. He's forgiven you. Your name is now in the book of life. This is now your home. Amen. This is now your church. Amen. Bring all those you can bring with you. We thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you today. Amen, somebody. I want all the children to come. We're going back to school. Who started school this week? I want you to come, all the children. Amen. Whether you're going to college or whatever. Come on, I want to pray with you all. Amen. Come on down. Come on down. Amen. Come, come, Brianna. Come, Ari. Amen. All those who are going to school. They're going to school. Exactly. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Come on. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Look at my sons. Come here, son. No, no, I know you're I know you're one of my son. Not this son right now. Amen. <laughs> come here, brother. Look at look at look at the guy. Look, look at him look handsome. Come come take the picture with him. Come. Come 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 son. Toya, come up here. Come up here, Toya. Come. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here, son. Come up. Stand between me. You stand here. Amen. No, that's me and my son. I'm going to take it right now. Miss me take with you. Stay right there, minister. Take the picture. Look at my son. Look at my son. What up here, son? What up here? What up here? Can you, can you love camera? <laughs> Look at my son. I told you, just give them some time. Take the picture. Is it looking good? What up here? Yes, amen. Take it good. Praise God. Want the camera? Who's the control room? Nobody, but I, it's not there, man. Going to go. All right, 
Okay, brother, brother Morgan, come on. Tell her, let them see us around the world. Center us, center us. Amen. Amen. God delivered brother Chavin. Chavin, right? Chavin, Chavin. And because of his deliverance, brother Kamar came in. Amen. He had his ear plot up. He got it trimmed. I don't know what type his ear was, shape was in, but God deliver him. Every part of him is delivered. Can somebody say amen? The church must stand for something. Amen, church of God. The church, God bless you, man. I appreciate that. It shows that humility and you listen to your pastor. Both of you. God bless you, son. Amen. What are you going to preach, you know? You're going to preach. Amen. All right. Come on, all of you. Come closer. I saw my God. Come here, God daughter. Come up here. We lift you up. Come on. Come on. One minute. One minute. Turn around. Let me see you. Turn around. Tell him hello. Hello. Did you see your picture on Facebook? Yes. Misha has a brag off. Just cut her. Take her picture to her first day at school. How was school? Good. Did you learn anything? What did you learn? Uh, ABC. <laughs> you want to pray for me, man? I call her my little minister. She loved the Lord. Amen. Church on the words of everybody. Church on towards it. Father, I thank you for every child stand at this altar now. Lord, you know what's going on at school. Father, we pray for everyone here that no weapon that is formed against them will prosper. No demonic attack. Raku shikendereme. Must be upon them, Lord God. We pray for comprehensive coverage. Somebody say comprehensive coverage. Somebody say comprehensive blood coverage. Father, cover them from the youngest, Lord. From Brianna up, Lord Jesus. To the oldest one that is going to school. We pray you watch over them. Let your light shine upon them. Oh God, you know them all by name. In Jesus' name. Let the favor of God rest upon them. Let them be good children in school. Lord, everyone that want to act disobedience. We bind that spirit now. In Jesus' name. May they shine. Lord, they are coming from Christian homes. There must be light in the school room. They must look different from everybody else. Father, touch them right now. In the name of the Lord, rest your hand upon them. Let them be good students. Let them be bright students. And so God, as they learn in school, let them get involved also in your word. Lord, we don't want them to become educated with the natural things and don't know God for themselves. I pray also, God, that they'll get in the Bible also. Just as how they want to know your schoolwork, let them know the word also, God, because one of these days, what we learn on earth will die, but only what we do for Christ will go to heaven. Take them over now, God. Bless them, Lord. Bless them. Somebody say, bless them, Lord. Come on, say, bless them, Lord. Come on, say, bless them, Lord. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Even those viewing us around the world and their children going back to school, we pray for them also, God. We pray for coverage. I pray for Donna Chambers, who sent me a text online today. Ask me to pray for her. Wherever she's watching us, wherever she is, grant her request, Lord. Sister Sylvia in Jamaica also, touch your people, God. And we thank you now, Lord. Somebody shout amen. amen. I have two keys in my hands. Two brand. They look, these keys look like they never use apart from the drivers that have them. And it was given to me by the Nathans. 
two brand new, brand new vehicles, brother Nathan, right? Brand new vehicles. God has blessed them with. And we come on somebody, say amen. You know what I like about the, like about the Nathans? He said, if they get a vehicle, they bring the keys for me to bless it. Amen. Because they know the worth of prayer. Amen, somebody. And so, there are, there are, there are two Nissan. One is this one, Ma? Nissan. Two Nissan, amen. And uh, these are going to give me caring, like, keys like this one of these days in Jesus' name. Somebody say, amen. Father, we thank you for the Nathans family. God, they have blessed my wife and myself in the past. And they're still blessing us. God, when we came to New York, she gave, they gave us a car to drive. God, they paid the insurance. They paid the license. Dear God Almighty, God, you got to bless them, God. Because, Lord, if they give to a prophet, they must get a profit reward. And God, Araku I thank you for the Nathan's family, Lord. Brother Radcliffe Nathan and Sister Michelle Nathan, even Brother Joel, God, I commit them in your hands. I commit these two vehicles in your hands. I pray in the name of Jesus that God, you send angels with them. Every time they sit around the steering wheel, let the angels watch over them, God. Oh, God, cover the vehicles under your blood from accident and all danger oh god in jesus name we thank you we bless you and we glorify you even now for your blessing upon them and upon this vehicle god let it be used for your glory and for your praise somebody shout hallelujah shout hallelujah somebody in jesus name say it is blessed and now touch yourself and say i am blessed See, there's no need, need, need for me to pray for you already. Come, Mr. Dawkins, pray for you already. Amen, church of God. Amen. So you're going with the blessing of the Lord. Say, I'm living blessed. I'm living blessed. And I'm coming back blessed. And I'm coming back blessed. In, Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Don't forget this evening I'll be ministering at Grace Church of the Firstborn. And they're at Utica Avenue between, almost right beside the Chase Bank. Right? Utica is between Snyder and church avenue tonight and tomorrow night and on thursday night i'll be ministering at freedom hall in queens there in jamaica avenue and then also i'll be ministering on the, on the as you've heard already the, the other week i've been ministering also in connecticut amen so god been just opening some doors amen church of god this one was at the announcement that pastor bishop called me just last week to minister in their convention coming up the 20th of this month also. So God is doing something tremendous. Amen. Amen. Oh. And remember we have asked you, you may go back. Amen. For those that, to bring something for Sister Andrea. Those online with God bless you. Amen. You could, um, what is your, where Morgan is there, close up the line. All right. Amen. I want to thank you for watching us online. Amen. We'll be back with you. Amen. If you're in the area, I'll be ministering this evening at Grace Church of the Firstborn. I think they're at 909 Utica Avenue. It's between Snyder and Church Avenue. If you can join me there tonight and tomorrow night. And Thursday night, I'll be at Freedom Hall, Queens. Thursday night, Freedom Hall, Queens. At, amen. They're at Jamaica Avenue. God bless you. And um, we have asked for us to help with the Sister Andrew's son died, as Minister told her, they stabbed him to death. Amen. And we want to.